the media, politicians and marketers, they really, really, you know, basically use black and white thinking a lot, okay? They use it to their advantage. They know that by stimulating that inner part of the brain, they can get us to have stronger feelings about whatever it is they're talking about, what they're trying to sell, or what's going on. They know that they can manipulate us to think a certain way. You know, the media is the absolute worst example of this. The media is really, really good at doing this, okay? The media does this all the time. They would like you to believe something's really good or something's really bad. Now, either someone is a complete innocent victim or they're the hero. You know, it's, it's a breakthrough miracle cure that's gonna, you know, change the world. Or it's the enemy, okay? It's pure evil. It's a threat, it's doomsday, it's the end of the world, okay? They really, really use black and white thinking a lot because they know that when you're watching and engaging, you know, they're getting you to think and feel the way that they want you to think or feel. They do that because they know that that gives us a sense of connectedness. When we can really associate with that thing, okay, you've got transference happening again, okay? So when you can really connect with that thing that they're saying, you're going to believe their story and, and I guess what they're pitching to you, okay? Which is really just a perception. They exploit our sense of connectedness so that we know that we are together, we are connected and we are the good guys and they are the bad guys. Anybody that thinks differently about this thing is out there, they're not a part of our tribe and we're the good guys. Buy our advertising, make us more money, make us more profits, it all works in their favour.